yoga for well-being. Yoga Namaskar Yoga Namaskar is a powerful system by itself. It activates the lumbar region of the spine in a tremendous way, strengthens the muscles along the spine, giving it a reinforcement so that as one ages, the collapsing of the spine which causes pinching of the nerves does not happen and if already there's damage is setting in, the best way to regenerate your spine would be by doing yoga namaskar. It has all-round benefits for the entire body. Yoga namaskar is a very simple and complete process by itself. To practice yoga namaskar, you will need a light stomach condition. That is approximately one and a half hours gap after having a meal. If you do not fulfill this condition, please skip this particular practice for now. Those with hernia and pregnant women in the third or fourth month of pregnancy should avoid practicing yoga namaskar. Now we will learn yoga namaskar. This is a series of seven steps. You will demonstrate one full cycle. Please observe. Stand with your feet comfortably apart and parallel to each other. Keep your arms and shoulders loose and relaxed. Eyes open. Focus on a point in front of you. Once your focus is steady, hold Namaskar by bringing your palms together in front of your chest. This is the starting position. As you inhale, bring your hands up above your head. As you exhale, bring your hands downward so that the heels of your palms come behind your neck. As you inhale, bring your hands straight up. As you exhale, bring your hands down in front of your chest. This is step one. You do the same thing twice more. Step two. As you exhale, make a sound from the pit of the throat. Step three. The whole time, your fingers should be together pointing straight up, even when you bring your hands behind your neck. As you bring your hands up, it is a full inhalation. As you lower it down, it is a full exhalation with the sound. After you do this three times, you squat straight down. Step four, as you inhale, bring your hands up. As you exhale, Bring it down behind the neck. As you inhale, bring it up. As you exhale, bring it down in front of your chest. Then, as you inhale, push your hands straight out in front of you, fingers pointing forward. As you exhale, making the sound, bring it back to the chest. Do this three times. Step five. As you inhale, bring your hands up. As you exhale, bring them down behind the neck. As you inhale, bring your hands up. As you exhale, down in front of your chest. As you inhale, straight out in front of you. As you exhale, back to the chest. Once more, step six, inhale, hands up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, hands straight out. Exhale, hands to the chest. Now step seven. As you inhale, push your hands straight out. Bring your knees to the ground. Lean forward and place your forehead on the ground. Stretch your arms above your head. Rest your palms on the ground. Place your hands together 
so that the thumbs and pointing fingers are touching, forming a triangle. Your elbows should be slightly bent. This is Balasana. Stay here until your breath stabilizes, or for a minimum of two minutes. Then gently stand up and come back to the starting position. This is one cycle of Yoga Namaskar. We will look at a few modifications and corrections. If you find it difficult to squat, then you can place a support about half an inch or one inch thick below your heels and squat down, ensuring your feet are parallel to each other. For some people, while bringing the hands behind the head, the fingers are pointing backward. The fingers should be pointing straight up. Also, there is a tendency for the head to come down. The head should be straight. Do not move the hands too quickly or casually. There should be slight tension in the arms as you do the movement. Now we will do one cycle of Yoga Namaskar together, incorporating all of these corrections. Please stand. Stand with your feet comfortably apart and parallel to each other. Those of you who need a cushion as support to squat, you can keep it just behind your feet, and when we come to step four to squat down, you can step backward onto the cushion and use it as a support when you squat down. Eyes open. Focus on a point in front of you. Once your focus is steady, hold Namaskar in front of your chest. This is the starting position. Step 1. As you inhale, bring your hands up. As you exhale, with the sound, bring your hands down behind your head. As you inhale, bring them up. As you exhale, bring them down to your chest. Do this twice more. Step two, bring your hands up with a full inhalation. Bring your hands down with a full exhalation. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down to the chest. Step 3. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down behind the head. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down to the chest. Now squat straight down. If you need a cushion, you can use it as a support. Ensure your focus is directly in front of you. Step 4. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Then, as you inhale, push your hands straight out. As you exhale, bring your hands towards your chest. We'll do this twice more. Step 5. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Keep your head straight. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, straight out. Exhale, back. Step 6. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, hands up. 
Exhale, hands down to the chest. Inhale, straight out. Exhale, back. Step seven, as you inhale, push your hands straight out. Bring your knees to the ground. Lean forward and place your forehead on the ground. Stretch your toes behind you. The body should be sitting upon your heels. Place the hands together on the ground so that the thumbs and pointing fingers are touching, forming a triangle. Your elbows should be slightly bent. Stay here in Balasana until your breath stabilizes. Then gently stand up and come back to the starting position. When you are finished, you can sit comfortably. When you practice Yoga Namaskar on your own on a regular basis, for more impact on the system, instead of doing one cycle, you can do three cycles of Yoga Namaskar. 